So what is the most masculine offering from the house of Louis Vuitton? So in 2018, they launched a fragrance called Nouveau Monde, this one right here, along with four other fragrances targeted to men. But in the whole entire Louis Vuitton collection, and I believe there's 20 fragrances now in the collection, 19 or 20, maybe even 21, Nouveau Monde I find to be the most masculine. It's really, really a beefy masculine fragrance. And a Malik as well. If you want to find out about Nouveau Monde, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time tuning into the channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and of course participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So this one came out in 2018 along with four other fragrances specifically targeted to men. They are the more masculine offerings. Nouveau Monde basically means new world. And inspired by travels, of course, Louis Vuitton's design and uh, accessories were all worldly kind of inspired um, uh, items. Uh, I don't know a lot about the Louis Vuitton history, but it dates back and they're known for their suitcases. So this, I think, when I was doing my research, it turned out that they were inspired by those travels uh, with some people that were connected to the brand in the older days. But this came out with four other men's fragrances. There was L'Immensité, Sur la Route, Ahasard, uh, Orage, and then Nouveau Monde. Nouveau Monde, and I, I, I kid you not, this is a fragrance that I, when I first uh, got it, I was kind of thinking, all right, it's very, very intense, it's very potent, and it's also animalic. I'm going to put it aside, but I kept coming back to it, and I'm really enjoying it, especially now. It's like really cold here. Finally, it's winter, and uh, I'm enjoying we we wearing this Nouveau Monde, and if you like intense fragrances, if you like ouds, uh, if you like Anomalic, uh, this is definitely one for you to try. Even though I have reviewed Ombre Nomad, which is in the higher priced fragrance from this house in the darker bottle, I find this one to be more Anomalic, more intense, and even more potent. potent and this one happens to be cheaper than uh, Ombre Nomad. So Nouveau Monde, New World, launched in 2018, it's EDP concentration. The perfumer for all the Louis Vuitton fragrances is Jacques Cavalier Bella Rude. This is considered an oriental, but I can also classified as a woody or a leather and a 100 ml bottle is $250 and these bottles are refillable so if you ever run out you can take them to the store and refill it and it retails for $150 to refill a bottle so it costs less and the notes here what we've got are agarwood from Assam, cocoa, saffron, patchouli, incense and black currant note. Just something off the top of my head, I want to say right off the bat, this is not a gourmand in whatsoever. In fact, the cocoa in here is not the sweet kind of cocoa. I think what they've done with the cocoa here is just to complement the very animalic experience of the agarwood from Assam. So, what happens with this fragrance? As soon as you spray it, there's some freshness in this fragrance. I don't know where the freshness is coming from. I feel like there's a little bit of a bergamot note in here that's not necessarily credited. And right off the bat, I get the, the oud. The oud is pretty intense. In fact, what I find in here is the oud is very, very animalic and uh, the most uh, dominant uh, note here. And of course, saffron. So there's no leather mentioned in this fragrance. And saffron is something that I've learned that goes leathery. And I get an almost equal amounts of saffron leather in this fragrance that I do with the oud. So it's a very animalic, I guess it's an animalic leather or an animalic oud or the combo of both, but both of them together is very, very potent and intense. Um, and you experience them right off the bat. But as soon as you spray it though, like I said, it's a little citrusy, but there's just no mention of citruses at all. And there's some freshness there, but as soon as you spray it, the pungent qualities of the oud and the leather really start taking over. So it is saffron that they say, but that saffron is very, very leathery. This is a very, very leathery experience uh, for me. Now, the cacao comes in, and it's very, very unique. Um, this, to me, it's cacao or cocoa, uh, according to uh, Louis Vuitton's website. The cocoa, it's a very dark, 
not even bittersweet, just unsweetened uh, c -c cocoa because I guess there's a little bit of a sweetness there. Maybe uh, I get like hints of vanilla, even though vanilla is also not credited, but this cocoa I experience very bitter. It's a very bitter experience, but even though it's bitter, what, what happens with the oud and the leathery qualities, it, it does sweeten it up and make it a little more accessible and easier to wear and appreciate rather than um, go, whoa, this is really animalic stuff. I, I can't tolerate it. Um, so the cocoa does that, but it doesn't go gourmand. This is definitely not a gourmand fragrance. Cocoa is there to just sweeten up and um, lighten up the intensity of the, the oud and uh, make the animalic experience of the oud or the leather, which I, I'm assuming it's not the leather because it's saffron that they're crediting. Um, it's the oud that's animalic and uh, just make it a little more easier to um, experience. So patchouli also comes in and there's there's a little bit of a, a smoky quality running throughout the fragrance so there's some incense thrown in as well but really really lightly under there there's some fruity touches like a black currant uh, I don't even, I can't even pinpoint the, the, the actual note in here but it is a sweet fruity touch but it's very very minute it's really really uh, light and not overwhelming at all. So it's not fruity at all. It's not gourmand at all. It's mostly about the oud here and uh, the leathery touches. Now what I also get from here, there is a little bit of a sweetness, like a caramelly sweetness in there, which I like, uh, but you can't really uh, distinguish it from is it, is it a, a vanilla in here? Is it a caramel? There's some sweetness in here. It's not the sweetness from the cocoa because the cocoa experience uh, is very, very uh, bittersweet or uh, uh, unsweetened uh, completely. But there is some sweetness like a caramel touch or maybe vanilla or maybe like a caramelized um, sugar with some uh, vanilla added in there. But to me, this one's mostly about the, uh, the oud and it is an animalic oud. In fact, I find this one to be more animalic, as I said, than, and more intense than um, uh, Ombre Nomad. But Ombre Nomad has this uh, rose in it, uh, the rose note, and of course it has oud, and there's some smoky touches in that fragrance as well, and I get lots of spicy uh, qualities with that one, like I almost get cinnamon. Here it's mostly about the oud, and it's an animalic oud. Now it does it does hint a little bit of something as something rosy uh, because um, it's like there's a, there's a little bit of a, a rose, something like a floral rose, mostly a rose, but there's like a something floral undertones there, kind of also like brightening up uh, the fragrance. So I think these are just basically accords that are created from the different notes that are in the fragrance. Now, the other thing I want to mention is there is something civety in here, which I'm assuming it's the agarwood or the oud. And the civet in here is smoky. And that civet reminds me of leather oud from um, Dior. Uh, but uh, this one is not as animalic. I, I guess I could say that. Um, yeah, I could say that. It's not as animalic as Leather Oud. This one, I think that chocolate covers up the real animalic qualities of this fragrance or the Oud and makes it easier to wear. But Leather Oud is, is a little bit... Um, like when I put Leather Oud on, if I'm in a, a mood that I don't want animalic, I have to wash it off. When I put this on, I can tolerate it. I don't uh, have that issue of gotta wash my hands uh, if I'm in a, a mood where I don't want anything animalic. This one's definitely a tolerable. But for me, if I compare them with all the Louis Vuitton fragrances, uh, Nouveau Monde I think is the most animalic, even next to Ombre Nomad I find, um, which I find easier to wear. So this is pretty much it for this fragrance. The other thing I want to say, and there is a negative here, once the fragrance is drying down, the chocolate does get a little sweeter. But as it's drying down a lot, it does remind me of Louis Vuitton fragrances. And Louis Vuitton's fragrances have this DNA that's present and running through the entire collection. In fact, it's more obvious in the first set of fragrances and the, the ladies' fragrances um, that they have launched. Because there's this like watery accord, not aquatic, but watery, under like just something watery running throughout the whole entire fragrance. When you wear it and you wear a lot of it, you can experience that watery touch or watery quality of the, the Louis Vuitton line. This one, it's not obvious much, but as it's drying down, you do pick up hints of it here and there. So there's something watery watery in the whole entire collection. But this one, it's not a wimp, guys. This is definitely a beast. Um, it's uh, intense. It's very long lasting. It uh, lingers on and it is animalic. But as I was saying, if I was going to compare the oud in here with the leather oud from Dior, 
I find this one easier to wear and something I don't want to wash off if I'm in a mood where I don't want animalic. Whereas leather oud, it gets so animalic that if I'm not in the mood to have animalic on, I would have to wash that off. I hope that makes sense. Um, guys, let me know your thoughts. Have you tried Nouveau Monde? Are you familiar with the Louis Vuitton collection of fragrances? The Louis Vuitton fragrances are only avail available at Louis Vuitton boutiques. They have made these fragrances just as exclusive as their own you know, clothing and uh, accessories and things like that. So you have to go into a boutique to buy them. So they wanna make them exclusive. They're more pricier although they play off the more uh, like privé exclusive collection uh, type of uh, fragrances. There's nothing inexpensive here at all. They're expensive. In fact, 100 mLs are 250, as I said, and they do have 200 mL bottles as well that are higher priced. I think they're 350, I can't remember exactly. And then of course, the black bottles, they have two. They have uh, Ombre Nomad and Le Sabre Roses. Those are over 300 for a 100 mL. So they are pricier. They're going off of the whole um, exclusive collection of fragrances thing and they're uh, killing it, I guess. And this is a bit of a late discovery for me, even though I've had it for a while, I've used it. Um, I find that it's gonna be perfect for a winter wear. It's animalic, you gotta tolerate it, but then again, if you can get through that animalic part, it's easier to wear compared to something like leather oud, which I find overly animalic, like really smoky and animalic. And the oud in leather oud is similar smokiness in here, but it's tolerable, as I was saying. One other thing I want to mention, this fragrance does remind me a little, little, little bit of um, uh, Gucci's uh, Gucci Guilty Absolute Pour Homme and a little bit of Dark Lord from By Killian. Um, maybe a little bit of... Uh, Bronze, wood, and leather, I think it's called from Jo Malone, which I found out recently that it's discontinued. Not sure why, that one just came out late last year. But the leather that's in here reminds me a little bit of those three fragrances, the leather in those fragrances. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Nouveau Monde from Louis Vuitton. Let me know if you've sampled this. Let me know if you're curious now that you've heard my thoughts on it. And also let me know, are you familiar with this collection from Louis Vuitton? Other than that, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.